Hey, what up guys? It's Michael here from Performance Revolution. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to perform the stability ball leg curl properly and how to get the most out of this movement. The stability ball leg curl is a great exercise for developing the hamstrings and if you execute it correctly, you should really notice a burn through the back of your legs whilst doing it. Now unfortunately this burning sensation is uncommon to most people as they don't perform this exercise properly and feel their hamstrings really engage at all. This lack of hamstring involvement is because most people only think of working their hamstrings from the knee and not the hip whilst performing the stability ball leg curl. To illustrate what I mean, let's start by having a look at the version of the stability ball leg curl you'll find most people performing and then we'll look at how we can make this better. In this common version of the Swiss ball leg curl, the knees are flexing and the lower legs are being curled in, but you will notice the hips are not involved at all. Although the hamstrings are somewhat working to drive the heels towards the glutes, you will notice that the glutes aren't on. Without the glutes contracted, the hips are flexed and not extended straight. This is important because the hamstring muscle group works and functions in both hip extension and knee flexion. To get the most out of your stability ball leg curl, you will need to have your hips fully extended while your legs are being curled in. If you perform the following version of the stability ball leg curl, where the hips are extended and there is a straight line formed between the knees and the shoulders, you will notice a far greater contraction in your hamstrings and get a lot more out of this exercise. The hips can be kept extended the whole time during the exercise, or you can lower them in between the contraction phase. Either version is fine. We prefer the former version as you can better maintain tension on the hamstrings throughout the whole set. If you're struggling to get your hips fully extended at all when performing this exercise, it's likely that you're struggling to activate your glutes and both your hamstrings and glutes are weak. To improve your glute activation and hip extension, see our glute bridge tutorial via the link in the description to this video. Being a bodyweight exercise, the stability ball hamstring curl can be performed for a high number of reps and to muscular failure. Practicing your stability ball hamstring curls two to three times per week should be sufficient for improving your strength in this exercise and developing your hamstrings in the process. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you follow our recommendations in this video, you'll be well on your way to performing a more effective stability ball leg curl and developing better hamstrings in the process. For more useful information and exercise videos, please subscribe to the Performance Revolution channel.